Welcome back, Broadway Gymnasts. So for today's video, we are going to be continuing our lesson on casting for bars. So again, we don't have bars at home, but we can make do with what we have. So go on ahead and ask your parents if you can use a counter space or maybe like the back of the couch. You might be able to use your bed if it's tall enough. Um, and you'll kind of see what I mean with that in a second. But you definitely want to make sure that it is not going to move on you because you are going to be supporting your body weight. Uh, and if your parents are like, mm, I don't want you doing casting around the house, that's okay. You can go back and you can still work on the casting drills until you get back in the gym to work on the cast on the actual bar itself. So we're going to go on ahead and get started with our stretch. So um, to recap what I covered in the last video, some of the things that you want to focus on is a correct front support, which means that the bar is going to be starting at around your hips. And then whenever you push up tall, so essentially like extending your neck um, because your shoulders are pushed all the way down to the full extent that they can be, um, the bar should be at the middle of your thigh and you should be keeping your body there, right? So you shouldn't like get there and then relax. Um, so you want to keep that constant tension to have a good front support. Um, and that shoulder movement is going to be very helpful. So you can hear my cat. Um, one of the other things that you want to think about is the conditioning exercises that I gave you guys to do, which is going to be helpful because for casting on bars, your shoulders, again, are not going to be staying in one spot. So your shoulders need to be strong enough to get them back where they need to be whenever you are casting because in order to cast, your shoulders are going to have to lean forward. So not only do your shoulders have to be able to take the, the strength of leaning forward, but also getting them back over the bar. And then the end goal of a cast is to come back to the bar, right? So that means that you have to lean forward for the cast, get back in line with the bar where you're supposed to be, and then lean forward again so that you can come back down safely. Because if you lean back, you're just going to move away from the bar and you're going to not be where you would like to be. So you have to have a lot of shoulder strength and control for that. And then you also want to have good form for your legs. Because again, we're not just, you know, throwing them up there. We should almost be in a hollow body or a push-up body, right? Because our feet are not going to be going above our stomach, okay? Or in the fact that, like, our feet shouldn't be higher than our stomach like this, right? No arches. Um, so there's that. And we also want to keep our legs together and straight, right? So bending our legs is not going to help us. Um, kicking one leg at a time is not going to help us. So um, it's just small form things like that that are very important for you to know and be confident in before you actually try a cast. So today's video is going to be pretty short because again, we don't have an actual bar to do casts with, but what you want to do is find something that you can actually jump up on to wherever your feet are not going to be touching the ground. Preferably, you want something where you actually have room to move your feet. Um, I will not have that room, but it is okay because I can still walk you through um, some of the things that I'm going to be talking about. So I'm going to, let's see, maybe I can scoot you over here, see how this works. And then I'll lift you guys up. Okay, so this will work quite well. I'll move this stuff out of the way. Good. Okay, so this is what I mean by making sure that you have your feet on the floor. Okay, we have this. This is just on the bar where the hip or where my hips are on the bar. A correct front support is your thighs should be or the middle of your thighs should be on the bar. Okay, and notice that my shoulders are kind of right on top of it. Whenever you get ready to go for the cast. What is going to happen is your shoulders are going to lean forward and you're going to see your feet also come forward. The reason for that is it's getting momentum, right? It's like a swing set. So as you lean forward, whenever you cast, your feet are going to swing backwards and you're going to be tall and round, okay? So you're gonna go from your shoulders being forward and your feet being forward to your feet are gonna go up and your shoulders are going to move back on top of the bar like this, okay? If you can imagine it. And then you're going to lean your shoulders back forward as you come back to the bar. And it's going to be the same position. And that's how you stop, is you keep pushing your hands backwards 
so then your feet don't drag your entire body backwards because you want to land back on that bar. So you're going to bend forward, cast, and then lean back forward to stop, okay? So don't do any big casts, okay? We're just trying to get the form of how to lean forward, get where we need to be, lean back forward, and most importantly, making sure that we come back to the bar, right? Because what we don't want is this, okay? Front support, and we cast and just push off. That is helpful. There are certain gymnastic skills where you're just going to cast and push off, but I, what I want you to work on today is casting and coming back down to the bar, okay? So if you want to, we're going to start off with casting and pushing off to get used to the first part of the cast, which is the lean forward and the hollow body. And then once you get that a couple times, then you can try to come back down. Now, the reason that I said that you want something wherever you can move your feet is, one, so that your feet can go forward, but two, it'll be, it'll be nicer for you whenever you're coming back down and not have to worry about your feet getting stopped too early. Because naturally, they're gonna wanna also come back forward to stop. But if you don't have any room, you're not going to have that. But regardless of whether you have room to swing your feet or not, you should be controlling yourself on the way down. You should not be just letting your legs slap down, okay? So you almost want to lower yourself carefully, okay? So this will help you practice that. And that's what I'm saying about the control with your shoulders, because you're not just going to collapse down. Your shoulders are going to help control the speed at which your legs come back down, okay? So, we go ahead, push up tall, and we're going to do three casts, okay? One, two, and three, okay? So, it is harder because I don't have room to move my feet, which means that I don't have a lot of momentum. However, I can work on good form and swinging the legs without relaxing the shoulders, okay? And notice that I tried to come back down, and even though, because I couldn't get my feet in front of me, it was really hard to not lean backwards, I focused on using my muscles to keep my body forwards anyways, okay? So, it was a quick video, but there is definitely a lot to work on, because it is something that can get complicated. And bars, you don't really have much time to think, because once you get on the bar, you should be constantly moving, okay? So, the more that you have stuff like this committed to muscle memory, the easier the rest of your bar routine will be. So, thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time.